I haven't spoken to my wife in three weeks because I did not want to interrupt her. Welcome to the Academy of Photography, Christian Chudo here. Today I'm going to talk about 10 common mistakes for the beginner photographer. Believe that photography is complicated. If you believe this is some sort of a uh, rocket science and only highly trained people can do it after years of practice and expensive equipment, that will stop you to move ahead. That's a showstopper. Photography is very simple and there's no right and wrong and nobody is going to die if you underexpose your images. Also, you will not end up in jail if you stuff up your white balance. Nobody is born knowing it all and there's a time that one needs to learn anything. Giving up after your first 50,000 images taken is simply not good enough if you want to do photography. I can promise you, your first 10,000 images will be your worst. Never believe that you need expensive equipment to achieve great photography. There are photos and movies out there absolutely brilliant and they are shot with entry-level DSLR or uh, camera equipment. It is the content that makes people move, not the depth of field or the vintage filter or the vignette effect. It might be overwhelming at the first to understand how the camera works. With so many numbers and settings and all sorts of star smart people trying to teach you how to do it and how to learn it. But what can I say is from my own experience is that I have learned to control my camera and to jump straight into manual in about two weeks time. If I can, why do you think you can't? Do you think I'm smarter than you? It's a mistake to believe that if you lift your camera and shoot what you see is enough. You need to be an image creator. You need to find content and subjects that will impress the viewer. You need to step outside your house. Photographing pipes under the sink or just rocks or a bird in your backyard is not good enough. Take your camera and use it as much as you can and look for stories with emotion and value, at least for you. Don't believe that all the photos are coming from a professional and they are brilliant. That cannot be further from the truth. A professional takes 100 photos to get a good one. The more you try, the better you're gonna get and you will need less and less pictures to get to the right one. The sun is not your friend. It might bring life to earth, but strong sunlight ruins your pictures. When you know how to harness it in full day and get a great photo, it will come in time and experience. It's a mistake to believe you have no talent as the other people's photos are much better than yours. There's no such thing as a talent. It's a word invented by people to justify their own mediocrity. If you do the hard work, talent will no longer be a concept for you and you don't need to worry about that. Talent is in fact perseverance and the attitude of not giving up when you fail. Mistake number nine is focusing on the tool rather than the goal. We all like equipment, gadgets, LED lights, remote controls, but at the end the content is king. Nobody's gonna judge you if your white balance is 10% yellowish. And common mistake number 10 for today is keep the photography for yourself. Photography is creating images for the eyes and for people to love the beauty what you're trying to create. You need to share it and you, you need to take information from others so the others will share it with you so we all can grow better together. I think that's enough motivational speaking for today. My suggestion is get your camera out, start shooting what you see, try to focus on good subjects, try to create good photography, constant learning, and until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. Thank you very much.